Okay, so I just got done doing um, the writers meeting and I actually, I do have some comments that they mentioned. Actually, so like me and Joanne read something but we switched it. So she read mine and I read hers. So it was kind of interesting to hear someone else read my piece. Uh, in the writers group, we actually have done that in the past before. So when I was listening to her read mine, I was writing down just a couple of, of things. So like I said a uh, flashlight twice by accident. And then when she was reading the part about when Trixie was putting the headphones on. When I was hearing her read it, it, it to me it sounded uh, confusing the way I wrote it. And then um, the next one was uh, Racked. So she was listening to music on her headphones and I, I don't know how to explain it. I just said he rapped before he rapped um because there's some rap in the music so and then the next one was shoulder i said shoulder twice by accident and then they were a little confused about like where did the gemstones come from and stuff so i'll definitely um work on that part and then they someone else said as if to be standing there in person and i i'm gonna take that out and then have her like uh trixie reached her hand out towards the little girl's shoulder so i think that's actually a good idea and then, so those comments, I was writing those down uh, when she was reading. And then these are some of them that they said. Someone said that I could do like overhead lights will wake mom up. So uh, Trixie's mom is a little strict and if she sees lights on her room, she's going to worry. So I thought maybe I could say she couldn't turn the overhead lights on because it'll wake mom. So I thought that was good. And then someone else suggested instead of her having a flashlight, why don't just have the moonlight shine into the room to make it more scarier? Because Trixie is like um, afraid of the dark. And then the other one was uh, someone else said, uh, while Trixie is looking at this little girl, the little girl was fixated on something. They said, well, what's she looking at? So I need to mention like what she's looking at. So those are all the comments that we had went through. So earlier today I was trying to get ideas down for like the second book. I don't know if I really want to say the second book title but I'm pretty sure I'll probably end up back ended up saying it by accident I guess. I was writing down some uh, scenes that I do need to write. I was writing this stuff down like what is going to be in the book the first one like fantasy adventure magic mysterious creatures an evil wizard hidden caves magical realms a little girl from another decade a handsome wizard and then that's all in the first book but of course it'll be in all the series so like in the second book there's gonna be a panther that lives in the rainforest good swimmers good climbers and I kind of realized that's going to be for like the third book but you know that's what happens uh when you're working on a series you end up you're working on the first one but then you're thinking about the fourth or the fifth or the sixth one and every Thursday night I'll read a section out of my first book and I'm starting to work on the second book and I'm also getting ideas for the third book so my mind is like all over the place which is totally fine I do have uh, the challenges for the third book that Trixie is gonna have to go through before she can be the true guardian. She has to pass these challenges, these trials, before she can go out and do, uh, become the guardian. So, uh, I'm having actually a lot of, a lot of fun with it. I was thinking about renaming the first book. I only named it Trixie because when I very first wrote it back in I think 2014 it was from Trixie's point of view but then as I started working on it a lot more and went back to it um, I added like three more point of views so it's not really just about Trixie. So I thought about naming it either Guardian because she's like the next Guardian maybe or I could name it Chosen because Crystal, the little girl, is on a mission to find the next Guardian and the ring uh, that she had put on her finger trans- well it was like a gem 
and then it transformed into a ring. And that means that it accepted her as the next guardian. So she was chosen. So I'm just trying to figure out if the ring accepts her, then that means she is the next guardian of the the sword that she has to go find. So I'm just having like so much fun with this series. And yeah, so I just wanted to give give you guys a, a weekly update. So I got my notebook here already and prepared. I have this and I wrote some scenes because in the second book, uh, she has to have a, um, like a protector, like an animal protector. And I decided to have it be a, a short haired black skinny cat. And I already wrote some scenes down in this book. I got some wrote down already and I'll have to type that up. So I'm really excited to work on this series and I'm so happy that I'm taking you guys along with me. So on Thursday's night, I'll be talking about the comments that the writers group had given me and I'll also be working on book two. So, and, you're, and you guys are probably thinking, well, how do you keep everything connected and not confused? Notebooks. It's a good thing, for real. A lot of people don't do that, I think, for the first draft. But it makes it a lot easier on me if I just have a notebook, like, just full of stuff. It's just packed full of things. Information, characters, uh, character names, backstory. So I'm just having uh, a lot of fun with it. So in the second, Trixie goes to this university for um, sorcerers because she's a uh, sorcerer. When the ring um, accepted her to be the next guardian, uh, she's in the second book, she starts to change. She starts to have these feelings and she has these powers, these magical powers, uh, starts to um, develop around her and in her. And she has to go to a special, um, like a special school. That's going to be a lot of fun to write because she actually meets other kids uh, that are going through what she's going through. And and some of these characters are going to be uh, very interesting. They're going to be part human and part animal. Oop, did I say too much? Well, I'm going to be talking about it anyways for the, who knows, for the next weeks, months, who knows. Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, talk about that. So I guess I'll stop here for tonight. And I'll see you guys uh, in the morning. Man. Oh, Papa. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back to like the first book in the middle grade series that I'm working on and I'm going to, I tried to work on the first chapter and but I saw there was like nothing wrong with it so I'm like okay so I'll just go for like go through the next few chapters so I think it's probably best if I just work on book one because I'm so afraid that I'm not going to get it done in time. I wanted to really send it to my editor like first week of February and then I forgot that I had chapters that weren't finished so I need to probably go back through it one more time and it's gonna take probably several drafts to do that you know so I don't know if I want to release the book um on Earth Day or um release it maybe in May I don't know because I found out that I'm doing farmer's market on May 22nd I think it's on a Saturday so I'm wearing around there and I'm really excited so I really did want to actually do like a release book party just you know to release just the book I don't know it was just an idea so I'm just really excited to get the book done and I do have ideas for like the second and third book I don't know if I'm gonna do four books I might maybe I don't know so I will see you guys later <laughs>
the chapter that I'm working on right now is from like one of the evil characters. His name is a uh, Dryston. And just a little hint, there are twins in this series and one is good and one is evil. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. I really didn't. It was kind of like, it just happened. And um, like when I first started the series, I knew they were gonna be brothers, but I did not know they were like gonna be twins or identical twins. And they have like the same facial features, but their hairstyles and the way they dress is like totally different from each other. So I am gonna actually have a lot of fun. Years ago, I have written about twins before. Um, I, are, I wrote that like, I don't know. I haven't even looked at that series in a while, so. But I'm on chapter two and I went through chapter one like so many times. So I kind of figured like, okay, let's just go to chapter two. And I think during the writer's meeting, I think I'm still on chapter one. Let me look. Nope. Actually, I'm going to be reading chapter two this Thursday. Yeah. I used to think it was really hard to write from an evil character's uh, point of view, but I've been writing for like almost 15 years now. So I kind of, it kind of depends on the character and why are they evil? You know, you can't just become an evil person without a reason, you know? So, um, I mean, okay, so here's a, a perfect example. I don't like snakes. They they really really scare me. There's a reason why I don't like snakes because my brother used he had bought a rubber snake like a toy one and he used to like throw them at me. He used to hide them in plants. Like I remember I was standing by this plant and I didn't even notice it at first. He used to hide that black rubber snake in the plant and he I remember one time he opened the bathroom door and I was in the tub and he actually threw it at me and I screamed bloody murder. He used to set it on my bed. Oh, I still love him though. I forgive him. So I am petrified of snakes, even real ones. I, that's why I don't like snakes. So that's another example. Um, I don't like water. I'm, I don't like to get in the water. Like if I'm at a pool, I will stay like on the, the shallow side. I, w I won't go like in the deep end. Um, I did once and I about drowned. Uh, the reason why I don't like water is because when I was really young um we had a babysitter and she was really really mean I don't rem remember her ever like beating us or hitting us or even yelling at us I just I've been told that she wasn't a very nice person but I also remember that uh she took me outside to her swimming pool and she picked me up and she just threw me in the water and it had frogs in it and it was just really nasty nasty water and it just I about drowned and I don't even know how I even survived that. I should actually ask, ask my mom. So I obviously didn't drown because I'm here. I just don't remember how I got out of the water. I really don't. But that's why I don't like uh, water. So I'm going to have to figure out, you know, why Dryston is like evil. So I will definitely uh, work on that. So I hope you guys understood like you can't be mean towards someone without a reason. You can't just walk up to someone and smack them without a reason. I mean, there's always a reason behind something. Thing. So I will definitely uh, work on that. I love to work on characters' backstories. It's just so much fun because you're creating a character from your own mind. And yes, every single character I had ever I have ever created a little bit of me or a little bit or like a little glint from my um, past is in the character. So character is like my most fun to do, but I also love to do setting like the woods or a house. I do mostly like nature. So I'm just like so excited to get this middle grade book out. And I don't know if I even mentioned this, but I'm going to release two poetry books. Uh, it's not going to be with Trixie, but I would like to release a book a poetry book about my teenage years, teenage days or whatever. And I think it's actually, I think it's actually almost done. So, and there's another poetry book. Um, my character Trixie is having a hard time accepting herself and loving herself. And I go through that too. And I really would like to release a book about loving yourself, uh, who you are, accepting yourself. And uh, so the poetry book is called um, Trixie, a teenager. 
I just about said Trixie. No, no, no. It's called Teenager. It's about my childhood. Or no, no, no. It's about my teenage uh, years of being in high school and uh, how I was bullied and how I um, came out of that. And the other poetry book is called Love Myself. Yeah, I've written a lot of poems about me uh, struggling to accept myself and loving myself and trying really hard to just go with life the way it is and learning from it. And I think a lot of people, not just women, but men could also relate with that too as well. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to work on uh, this book. February 11th and it is 9 o'clock and I just got done doing my writers meeting and it went really well so I do have just a little bit of comments that I wrote down that I would like to share with you guys so I did tell them that I actually had to change the title of the book I couldn't name it Trixie because I kind of realized that um there's going to be like three point of views like there's going to be Trixie, Shane, and Dryston so it's actually three I thought there was four, but there's going to be three different point of views in the story and um, they said to just make sure that um, I don't confuse the reader and stuff so I need to I didn't read like the whole chapter because it was like 840 845 so some of the stuff that they were saying I had already like written in the chapter like more grounded like make the setting more grounded maybe have him in another dimension because when when I was reading it they said we have no clue who this person is we have no clue why he's there we don't know who he is um and then someone else said um he felt submerged into the darkness she also said like take the word yet out um and then they also said you know expand more on the setting um and then they got really confused when I said uh plates um I I, I just used the word plates because I don't really have like a word for it yet so when Dryston gets this uh ring from Trixie he finds Elias who is trapped inside a chamber that is deep in the um, in the ground in this building it's like tore down and it has ruins and the walls are falling and I really love stuff like that he's actually stuck inside this real tight tight chamber it's like a, just a circle thing like a uh, a tube or something and he has to put these big huge circle 
plate in the slots and once he gets them all in there then the this chamber will rise up out of the ground and the door will open and then he's free so that is going to be like like later into the book so and then I have I have to like give more history on Elias and Dryson like the relationship and stuff and then I need to do more background on the characters and then uh someone else wants me to read the legend of the sword in the stone so those are the comments that i have for tonight and i hope you have a good night bye